laugh thing, and they're like, "You laugh after every time you say a line." <laughs> yeah. You're one of those people, huh? <laughs> I sang all the man parts in the duets last night. It was fun. <laughs> oh, so kind of... Summer loving. Hand me up. Yeah, I well. got chills. Uh, tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> yes. Did you there's actually a funny mind? thing about it's Greece. Like, like the, I guess there's like a movie theory that the whole premise of Greece is that she actually died when she Ooh. drowned. Like the whole concept, because you know how he's like, I saved her while she was out swimming and she almost drowned. But right. the whole theory is that she actually drowned and this is her ascending to heaven. Because at the end of the movie, the car drives up in the sky. <laughs> Right. Oh, that's right. So they're like, it's like Do her. Do we have like a room? Room, like, Two thirty. What is it? Room. Yeah. Like <laughs> for, for two thirty four. Yeah. There was this right. thing on YouTube of like random like movie whatever. theories. <laughs> like yeah. that, that sounds awesome. That right. like Breaking Bad. The whole Breaking Bad uh, is actually he after at the end he didn't die. He actually got put in a witness protection and then became Malcolm <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one is that he's actually Malcolm from Malcolm in the Middle because oh. he's a genius <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, that's a good one. Huh. Grew up and became Spoilers. Right. I haven't watched that yet. Better. Yeah, me either. Breaking Bad. Goes to the thing. You haven't seen Breaking Bad? No. Uh-uh. It sucks. It is. It's terrible. I heard it was pretty bad. It may be the best drama that's ever been on TV, but maybe not. I don't know about that. Have you seen Law and Order SVU? Oh my god. Don't you pause it after anything. <laughs> have it, have you ever seen the OC? Oh, oh my true. god. True, true that. that. Touche. The Hills. <gasps> the Hills? That's that not is, a show. That is drama at its finest. The Hills is a show. It's a reality show. Not no, drama. that is realistic. <laughs> They had a real Hollywood it's, ending in it's everything yeah. when it ended. Super cool. I really wish that it was real though, because I think half of them like blew up in a fire or something like that. That's, Did they? that's Did what they I was hoping for. Fire. Fire and fiery death. Yes. Okay. Google, give me some cupcakes. Cupcakes. Everybody ready? Sure. sure. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thomas, you haven't heard this yet. Actually, I'm excited. Oh, uh, we made up. it into the lead. Huh? The the the, the lead in. Okay. We got what? some quotes in there now. Oh, oh. Use and and, uh, wow. I, I haven't it. I haven't <laughs> finalized it yet, Thomas, because um need I need to get a couple from you. So don't yeah. be surprised when you don't hear your voice yet, because I didn't want to go oh. back through all the. <laughs> I fine. lied. And find He's gonna one. get it's them tonight. Take forever, so I'm gonna get some tonight and oh. add them. So. Uh, okay. Just use that I'm the one, one that sounds <laughs> stupid. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> well, thank you guys. <laughs> you guys are real, the, the real bees knees. <laughs> That's good. I like that. uh, Thomas is a bad egg. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I did watch the uh, Millers. I forgot. Oh. oh, that's okay. This guy. What? Yes, yes, ma'am. Oh. Is that the? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I need to buy the Red record. Band Anything trailers. Else? We could oh, also I'll put on. Uh, the show. We what? could also put up the what is it? The Ninja Fury or whatever it is. Max Fury. Oh, Kong Fury. Kong Fury. <laughs> Uh, Kickstarter. Um, have you? Uh, <laughs> Louis, I was gonna ask Kimberly. You guys can move six inches that way if you're too crowded. I've got space. Yeah. The thing is the bar. Okay, then I can try. Can, can you straddle switch? the bar? No, no. If you're, if this gonna make you uncomfortable, I can do this. What the movie I gave you? What was that called? There. I tried to forget. Oh, it's also the headphones too. What when the last so you one was drawn? Well, the yeah, keep pulling that until no, no, she's the movie I gave them. Is that better oh, for God. spacing? Mm-hmm. I just want I just don't want you guys Oh, I only got in there. Oh. oh. I was going to ask them about We're that. We're good. You good? I'm good. Okay. What are we doing? We'll probably I just eventually I'm going to ask about <laughs> only God forgets what we <clears throat> thought of it. Oh. Yeah, you should. We watched it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's currently on uh, watch. Yeah, and now you can watch it instantly. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. I watched yes. it more instantly though. <laughs> it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, it was okay. yeah, it was okay. It wasn't. You're right though. It, it wasn't was, as it good be... as as the other one. What's the other one? I can't remember now. <clears throat> Drive. 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 Drive was brilliant Drive. for me. I left it. I was like. <laughs> but it wasn't terrible like some it wasn't people terrible. put it as their yeah. worst movie of the year and stuff like I've seen it on some top 10 worst movies of the 2013 lists definitely not my top 10 what's but I the one like everyone's putting on their worst movie and we're like it wasn't that bad what was that movie one movie 43 no shut up <laughs> <laughs> didn't uh, 47 Ronin have the, one of the <sighs> smallest or made the least amount of money in its opening I really want oh, to I don't know. That's a good I, I heard it made less than um, uh, the, the cowboy movie. Lone Ranger? Ranger? Yeah. Wow. Oh, jeez. Really? Yeah. That's pretty bad. I haven't. I haven't seen Forty Seven Run. M- mind you, I know it's not as big a loss as. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but. But you know, all the reviews on Forty Seven Ronin were really pretty negative mm-hmm. quite negative i see i want to see that have you seen have you guys seen the preview to man of tai chi 3.4 million dollars is all it's made so far it's not good uh Mm-mm. that his directoral debut who's uh, yeah man of tai chi no i have check not. out the preview you might want to look that up thing for that on uh Xbox Live. If, or if you guys haven't, or if you want, it, it could be well, interesting. Let me ask you guys: Why didn't you run out and see Set Forty Seven Ronin when it came out? Because uh, none of us did, right? None right. of us were like, "Oh, we gotta see it," because why? it's the holidays. But yeah, I I wanted to see it. Yeah. I just didn't make it. I wanted to see two other movies before that one. Mm-hmm. That was my problem. Yeah, it was I, third on my list of three Christmas out. movies. We went to see that one. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> From the guys that brought you butt go six and fourteen. Keep talking, Kim. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> That's my <laughs> That's my thing. Darn Fergin drinking geese. Oh, that means but I must like be friends. <laughs> <laughs> I am everything. I am the Alpha and Omega, the A to C on the fucking internet. Cute doesn't belong on the internet. I belong on the internet. Oh, hi, Mark. It's hanging from the balcony with Sir Jared, the Professor, Nathan Betts, Miss Professor, and Thomas the Doubter. Oh, I know what's going on here. There we go. There we go. And record. Welcome, everybody, to another fabulous episode of Hanging In From The Balcony with me at Sir Jared, at Nathan L. Betts. Hi. We also have with us, as usual, the greatest cast and crew of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas the Doubter. He's back! Lewis hey. Powder Sylvester. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and Kim Miss Powder. <laughs> we need to change we need to change their things that to, to say changed. that. Yeah, well, not even blonde anymore. I see that, it be yeah. Powder. But Did, it's cause you're Miss Powder. Can I be Miss Me? <laughs> Miss me. Miss me. I am a person. <laughs> <laughs> Always in Lucy's Are you shadow. A person? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is our podcast where we talk about movies, movies, more movies, and st- other stuff. Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally. Oh, I love it. Such as powder. And- Powder's a movie. Yeah, it's sure. But it's, it's not It's also movie. your favorite thing to see. No, snore. it's not a movie because it's your <laughs> real life. It's a documentary about Lewis. It is a documentary about your life. Yeah. 
I've never seen that movie. Me either. Completely honest. I haven't either. I'm the only one that's Shut seen up. it. Have you I've seen it? I've seen it. Of course, I I've saw it when it. it first came out, like I've 20 years it ago. Like a million times as a kid. What? I love that I only movie. Only watched it once. You, you know the guy. I remember the rain. It was like a child molester. Oh, oh wow. stop it! Roman Polanski, right? Right in the childhood. No, the director. How many child molester directors can we have? I don't know, but that well, director is like, now. no, that guy went to prison for wow. molesting kids. Wow. Roman Polanski went to France. Which went to France. <laughs> Which is like going to a form of prison. I guess. It's, it's, smells like it's, a, it's a very way better food. Prison. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, Delicious food. Well cultured, not going to get shanked occasionally or <laughs> stabbed in the butt. Well, it Literally. smells like, like dog shit there, so there's that. Yeah. Yeah. The whole of France. The, no, I'm, I swear <laughs> to Jesus. Oh my God. I swear to God, the whole uh, entire, great. at least Paris did. Yeah, all, everywhere we went, just Paris, dog all shit of everywhere. Huh. Yeah. That's I, interesting. I heard about, about that in Spain, but not France. They don't tell you that in the travel book. Yeah, they kind of brush over that real quick. They're like, nice big bold letters. Come visit this. There's a little bit of dog shit. And it's really beautiful here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe maybe that's why everything tastes so good over there. Maybe. Because everything out being. It's the, the, the taste smell. of dog shit. That you're Everything eating. tastes better with an air of dog shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what would really enhance the nuttiness of this? Oh, God. A little bit of... Uh, yeah. Just a no. waft of dog shit. Uh, okay. Uh, Moving on. Uh, Moving on. Uh, you guys. Lewis and Kim. Yeah. Yeah. You guys watched, what, six <laughs> movies? 29 movies in three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Here's the deal, guys. Did you guys just not bathe? Did you just <laughs> sit in your own well, filth on a couch? <laughs> <laughs> Cheeto crumbs. We didn't leave and... for holiday, and right. we're not working. So that's what happens uh, we when we have time movies. off, is we so watch guys, a lot of shit. You guys turn into idiocracy where everything is <laughs> tubes. Yeah. <laughs> Go away, biting. <laughs> yeah. No, it's Great. Yes. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, should we talk about it? Yes. 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 We'll go yes. quick. Quick. We did see it a lot. So we watched a documentary called Blackfish. It's oh, a new documentary. On Killer Wells. The one on, on Killer Wells. Mm. Uh, really interesting. Really interesting. If Especially if you never want to go to SeaWorld again, because once you watch this, you will think SeaWorld yeah. is the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You really will. And we know, we all know, documentaries or movies, they're, you know, made. But people have agendas in mind. They're mm -hmm. trying to present a certain side of a story with facts and evidence and testimonials and things like that. Um, but, yeah, when you see it and you hear the stories and you look at decades and decades of information about these whales being, well, they're not whales, though, they're dolphins. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, they are actually. technically. But yeah, th how mistreated they are, and about their comparison to uh, free killer whales in mm -hmm. the wild, and it just is awful. It's awful. It's terrible. So yeah, I mean, you you get done watching, and you're like, oh, okay. And they don't show the one or two people who like get eaten. Um. All, they show them beforehand, so you get to know them, yeah. and then they just tell you. So nothing super graphic, but you do get to see a yeah. guy like crashed on top of. He's like riding right. a whale, and another whale like lands. Oh, on. Wow. oh isn't this one of the ones oh. of like two thousand something like that? Yeah, well, it's it's, it's recent. The yeah, it just the most came out. yeah the most recent one was two thousand twelve. Yeah, it was pretty recent. Oh, because the, there was the the, there was the lady. Yeah, but the, the lady. Death. The lady. She, they talk about her. She but was a. You don't see her. Yeah, she was a. And like a well trained toys and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really well. They have one guy who gets his foot. Oh, that's the uh, worst one. We caught, see footage. It bites his foot and it, and just, it just pulls just him to the bottom. Pulls him to the bottom and holds him down there for minutes and then, and then pulls him, him back up and then it just hangs on to him and he won't let him go and he keeps uh, doing the up and down. And anybody, he didn't panic. He just kept trying to calm him down. Of us would be dead. And he that just guy, did it. He held his breath. He knew, and he just he, he didn't knew struggle. He had to just sit there and tell it. But it's the okay, second okay. the second he let go of his foot, he swam 
And he, if he didn't swim as hard and fast as he could with a broken mm. foot, he wouldn't have gotten out of there because the guy came. The the, the well comes yeah back comes it's back over really the thing scary. and then he scrabbles to wow, get out of the pool. It's crazy. freaking insane. And the but, stories you hear, it's just like yeah. They talk about nuts. they talk about some of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. And, and you realize <sighs> you really we shouldn't have killer whales in captivity we no just it's, it, it's you, you understand their intelligence and, and their emotions yeah. and you realize that oh if if i had my babies my my, my babies that i birthed mm -hmm. and then you just took them to go live in a different place and then just kept me in my place i would freak out too yeah i yeah. mean it just <laughs> makes sense so it was yeah, really it's humanizing it was really interesting so I mean, and you won't be yeah. bored if you watch. Oh, if no. you put on Blackfish within five minutes, you'll be like, yeah. "Oh wow, this is really yeah. interesting." That's um, good. It's yeah. really good. We went and saw American Hustle in the theater. Oh, that's uh, gotten a lot of Oscar buzz, a lot of yeah. Golden Globe nominations, and so forth. Um, once again, Christian Bale is what the, yeah. such a good fucking actor. He's good. He's, 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 He's great. great. It's, it's it's ridiculous, and. Uh, Amy Everyone Adams. else does really well. Amy Adams is great. Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence is great. So the actors across the Bradley board. Bradley Cooper. Great. Um, I was expecting it maybe to be a little funnier right off the bat because it it, they, they kind of bill it as a real comedy, and, <clears throat> and it it moves at its own pace. But if you're willing to kind of just let the movie build up and go, then it gets really good. But it mm -hmm. does. It took me about 20 minutes to feel like I was into um, it. I'm a little ashamed to say I I haven't even seen a preview for this. What What's the premise? So it's set in the 70s, and it's based on a true life story about uh, some, like... Shyster. Yeah, oh, some, he? some He's a, con men yeah. or whatever that, that uh, get caught by the FBI... And then, um, well, he and his partner, which is the Amy Adams yeah. character, yeah. And so, <laughs> then to get out of going to prison, they have to work with the FBI and set catch, up other people, set up other people, and catch mm. other people. In, in cons, yeah. And yeah. So, it's a big yeah, con it, movie, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's called the, the abs cam, uh, yeah. scandal or whatever. And mm -hmm. it went all the way up into the echelons of gov government, yeah. Or they end up getting senators, yeah. And Else. And it's based people. on a real, yeah. Yeah. real I actually story. I the received gets involved. I received a gift uh, for Christmas and it's the book that the movie's based off of. Oh and, really? Yeah, it's called The Sting Man. And um, I'm two chapters into it and I that was the whole, the amount of time that I had to to read uh, from it so far, but I read those two chapters w when I first started it and immediately just started going right through it. So yeah, interesting. It's, yeah. it's a really interesting book yeah, too. Yeah, it's a you're cool gonna, movie. It's you're gonna get seventies. I mean, it's the music, oh. it's the feel, mm -hmm. it's the clothes, it's the everything. It's so yeah. uber seventies, mm -hmm. which is great. Yeah, the, the whole... music is. And this is from yeah. David O. Russell, who did The Fighter with Christian Bale. Right. And he did Amy uh, Adams. She Silver was in Linings Playbook with uh, yeah, and Bradley Adams Cooper and Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah. So he's bringing Jennifer back Lawrence. all of his old favorite cast members, yeah. you know. And they and do a good. great job. Yeah. It's just hmm. it's just so fun to watch. I think it's like two and a half hours. It's it's, it's kind of it's a big story, but dang. it's good. It's, it's really good. good. It's it's not. It's not my best of the year. Funny. It's not it's the best not, of the year. It's not even the best acting I've seen from some of these guys. Although, I don't know. Amy Adams does really. Anyway. Yeah. We saw Francis Ha. Yeah! Francis Ha. That was my pick. It was on Noah my Bombbox. queue. Francis yeah. Ha. Have you heard of this one? <laughs> so it's, it's Greta Gerwig, and she is this a is real life um, choreographer and modern dancer. And it follow it's a it's a fiction film. Francis, but, yes, oh yeah. thanks. And she is just trying to make it in New York, and yeah, she's it's just, a just dancer in New York. It, but it's not that kind of like struggle film. It's just kind of like the camera watches her for a year, and we just see her go. And she's just got so much spirit and so much verve. I don't I don't even know what to say, but I found it really charming and awesome and i i liked it 
I liked it a lot. It's really quite good, but it's yeah. very much an independent movie. It's black and white. It's indie. It kind of feels a little Woody Allen. Yeah, it's just people sitting it's, and talking yeah. for like five yeah. minutes about <laughs> nothing, you know? Yeah. And Greta Gerwig. Uh, she's 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 an interesting quirky, quirky person. <laughs> She she just she is quirky. Yeah, you'll get people talking about silly stuff. Uh, the thing that I liked recently was I saw her in uh, Spike Jones directed a performance at the YouTube. Shit, no, was the, it? the was it? I think it was the MTV Awards. MTV Awards, whatever awards um, this year, and she choreographed and danced with Arcade Fire and one of their new songs from their album. So it just screams indie with Spike Jones and Arcade Fire and her. But yeah. and she's got this really interesting flair to her dance. It's just it's kind of like if you get a lot of nine year olds in the room and you just say, Okay, dance the emotion that you're feeling right now, that's kind of like the way that she dances. Like the dog tooth dance. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe like the dog so tooth good. dance, but yeah, yeah. She, like I could, I, I could see her choreographing the dog tooth dance because yeah, she's she's yeah. an interesting. I person. liked it. I just don't know if everyone's gonna like it. I so if it the good. way we described it. it is something you're interested in, you'll really enjoy it. If it's not up your alley, then you probably won't have as much fun. You won't find it as interesting or charming. Hmm. Yep. Then we watch Europa Report. Remember that? Mm, um, <laughs> Did you see it? No. No, what is it? I forgot. That's the what one is it? on like Netflix. And yeah. It looks like a horrible like it's the off Oh, that's the sci fi one. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. Off, it's the off movie of uh isn't it the Tom the one that we watched, Oblivion, isn't it like the off one Oh, oh yeah. It's not it's you know what it is? First of all it's it's like the found footage. Thing. There's okay. cameras all over their so, spaceship. Okay. And Six so, astronauts go to Europa, which is one of the moons of Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's the first time man mission to yeah that see, far. Yeah, they because in real life we know there's water on Europa, and we want to find and life. So they they want to go there and see yeah. if there's any life. Mm -hmm. And of course, everything goes wrong, and <laughs> people die, and then you know yeah, you try to figure out who's going to make it not. It's really low budget, and I always feel like low budget science fiction is difficult. But they did a good job with low budget. I was, yeah. I was, I was they do a good job, but the way they do it is by using found footage, you know? So all yeah. the camera work is, like, inside you the can space. Have it, There's a lot you can of have it editing crappy. and stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. So you don't see very much, but you feel it. So it wasn't terrible, but it's mediocre for me. Right. I'm going to call it a mediocre film. Um... Then we saw Upstream Color. Upstream Color. Oh, man. Yeah. No, I loved Upstream yeah, Color. Yeah, it's a... It's a... Out there? It's so It's weird. so out there. <clears throat> Have you heard about this at all? Oh, no, my I've God. I've never even heard of it. Holy shit. So, again, this is on Netflix uh, stream. Uh, yeah, and you always see the image of the two of them in the tub. It's a great moment, but you can't be there until you're at that no, moment in the film. It doesn't image, mean anything to you. That image means nothing to you if you haven't but, seen the movie. Well, you talk about you talk about the premise, like okay. the story behind it, so, and then we'll talk about this. First things. of all, you need to know that the director of this movie, he's the guy that made Primer. Did you guys see Primer, that time travel movie? No. It was, it was recommended to us after we watched uh, Time Crimes. That's the one good. One with like the dude. He's like hunched over and there's cords out of it. That's the cover, no. right? No. Uh, there's co cords maybe, coming out of something, though. Maybe? That's the cover. There's oh, okay. Maybe the cover. The movie, right, right, right. Have you seen it, then? No. Okay, so Primer is a time travel movie that's super confusing, and they don't explain oh, it. Oh, never mind the box with the Yeah, cords. the box with the cords. Sorry. So in uh, Upstream Color, the idea is, at the very beginning, we see this guy... He's got these plants, and they have some kind of blue color to them, and he finds these, like, maggot worms crawling on the plants, and he, like, harvests the maggot worms, and he, like, pours water over them through a and tea distill, strainer. And distills into a glass. And the then, hell is this in my list already? Sorry, go ahead. And so then people drink, like, these two guys will drink the water that's had 
this maggot stuff touch it, mm-hmm. and then they both start moving exactly the same. And like, they can, like they have telepathy or something. Yeah. So then some they can guy connect. It's a, this connection. It's really strange. Yeah. So then some, one guy t- takes one of these mind control worms and he forces this girl to eat it, and then he like does all these horrible things <laughs> <laughs> it's weird it's fucking crazy it's man it's, it's and then it's, and then it, she and finds the, out she has a worm in her so she gets it taken out and put into this pig and then she has like she's connected to this pig. pig oh my god <laughs> it's freaking crazy but it's so cool and it's it doesn't weird, it doesn't hold your hand so it doesn't good. tell you what's going on it just makes you watch this and it, it i don't know yeah. it's just you have to just go with it and yeah, you realize, and you will get to the end and be like, so what happened? You realize you that know? it's actually like a sci-fi movie. It's but totally it's so, a science fiction movie. But it's cloaked in like just modern reality, just like mm-hmm. people in wherever Looks they like are. Looks like a romance It's movie. not, well, <laughs> well it's, it's more about connecting and not romance. Part of the reason these two are together is because they each... <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> No, okay. <laughs> it's not romantic at all. It's Actually, not romantic. the guy in this picture, he's the writer and director of the movie. Oh. He so, yeah, yeah. He's a so interesting guy. This is a low want, budget. If you want a head movie. trip, if you want a cool sci fi movie that just like doesn't uh treat you like a baby, totally watch it. Give it a try. It's really interesting. It's weird. It's weird, it's but shit, super but interesting. It. It's not bad. Now, the last one we watched, I liked it. But anyway, the last one we I watched, and Nathan, you can join in on this. Ooh, yeah, yeah. We watched a movie called Troll 2, <laughs> which I suggest you guys yeah, watch last we t- time. We Did you not watch it, it Jared? <laughs> no. It was only open until the beginning of the year. I know. I actually just totally forgot about it until Isn't, you guys mentioned it. Wasn't there troll movies made in the 80s? Yeah. This is like from like eight, eight, this is from ninety. Oh, really? This one's from ninety or ninety-one, I think, if I remember correctly. Now, oh that, my god! This one was Goblin's my by Gorn. far Gorn favorite. Was the third entry. This one's so awesome. This looks horrible. <laughs> so okay, yeah. So Troll Two is the worst movie ever made, according <laughs> to other be. people. Like scientifically, like, like scientifically, the worst. like according yeah. to other people too. It's according to science. It's according so. To science. Wait, it's so it. precisely anyway. on the nose, like you, you nailed can, it. You cannot that, yeah. get any more. Like the the way that they talk, they're <laughs> like they're literally delivering lines of information for you to realize what's happening in the movie. There's nothing clever about it. <laughs> they're just. It's like here's a list of things you need to know about this scene let's deliver them verbatim not we're not going to create a situation around these things no. just this is what you need to know what's happening right now and they literally oh. tell you what's happening while you're seeing it it's how, terrible how about the scene where the mom is like they're driving and she turns back to her son that's the mom says, by the way yeah the she's really she crazy. turns back to her son and she says sing me your favorite song sing me that song that, that i like so much that i like so, you know the one you know one that I like one so sing much? me that song son and so then the kid goes row row row, 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 row you row, 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 gently down the stream <laughs> oh my god yeah <laughs> and then the whole family gets in the round oh, oh geez. and they sound terrible yeah oh yeah they're they're terrible and then grandpa uh, freaking grandpa <laughs> beat it gramps god grandpa don't yep. do it! Grandpa Don't Seth. do it! Grandpa Seth! Grandpa, yeah, Grandpa <laughs> Seth! Grandpa Seth, how many... Uh, like, we know his name's Grandpa Seth now. Grandpa By the Seth. way, this was in made, in made in 1990, making Grandpa born easily in the 40s. How many Seths were in the 40s? Just, just, <laughs> just a question. I don't think there's very many Seths in the 40s. I'm just impressed with the, these pictures. The, the costumes. Yeah. The, 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 the really film looks better. When I see f- still photographs, oh yeah, the, um, that's how bad the movie is. He starts turning into something, right? A the tree. tree. Yeah, yeah. They're all like, is that a dream? That's a dream, though. Yeah, right? that's not even. So and then this this gal is this gal She's annoyed my favorite. the crap out she of me. She had my favorite scene in the whole movie, and I don't. 
Oh. I'm not going to ruin it because you guys are not going to watch it. If you do, it's still going to be freaking hilarious. But she, as a beautiful woman, because she can change back and forth between looking nasty and looking really pretty. So she gets all dressed up and takes a corn That's cob creepy. down to this boy, this young <laughs> teenage boy who's like 15. Oh, there's the corn. And she goes and she freaking makes out with this guy with, with the corn, corn in between, between them. her. And they, make, they heat it up with their sex and popcorn starts flying on the screen. And they make popcorn. They, yeah, they literally do. From the corn cob. Their make out is so hot. It makes popcorn. It's, yeah. it's popping corn. Yeah. And then it, <laughs> and it, it's it, my flashes, it flashes away favorite. for a little bit of and other it, story and covered. then it comes back and he's just, he's just covered in popcorn. Trying like, to crawl out ugh, of the popcorn. It's like a popcorn bukkake happened in here. In, uh, and, something you see in Hot Shots Part 2. Yeah. 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 The, the and bacon. what's weird it's eggs. not even yeah, yeah but it's not bacon. played as a joke but it's not played as a joke it was, but also yeah, it was all serious all the oh, other trolls turn is, them into popcornography oh that's brilliant oh that is pretty smart it's like the graduate they're trying to here, do the yeah, graduate here it is here we go there he is he's buried <laughs> in popcorn and it looks buttered oh yeah. my and god and it's one freaking year of corn <laughs> he's buried in it but the thing about these trolls is when they get a hold of you including her she changes you into growing into a tree. So mm -hmm. I don't understand why this boy didn't get turned into a troll tree. Yeah, I they didn't, got eaten I by didn't the trolls. Get that either. Oh yeah, here she is. She's gorgeous. <laughs> you know who that looks like? Uh, that looks like. Uh, <laughs> um. She's like God some dang it! Hold, drug addict. hold on. You guys keep talking amongst yourself. Do, do you remember? Out. Do you remember when the uh, oh, kids up above the evil people and. And he's watching. Oh and yeah, and he pokes his face falls. down. Yes. And, and that guy's hand grabs Blah. his face. Blah. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. It was good. Anyway, this movie's really good. And the town and was named to Goblin it. Backwards. Oh Nob my gosh. Yeah. Nob not nog nog noblin. Null Null Bog. Write it Nil out and read it backwards. Nil Bog, that's Jesus. what it was. Nilbog. Can you guys not say it backwards? That's the big twist at the end. They they go to this town of Nilbog and they keep running into goblins. And then finally at the end the kid goes, oh, Nilbog is goblin backwards. Like, yeah, okay. Everyone figured that out a year ago. Ethan Embry. Here's yeah. Ethan Embry. Yeah. And then this chick in From Timeline. In drag. Are yeah. the same person. <laughs> yeah. That's creepy. That's weird. <laughs> timeline. Yeah, he's timeline. From, yeah, timeline. Ethan Embry's in timeline? Yeah. <clears throat> so, the, Troll 2. He's the, he's the, 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 the geeky uh, one with the glasses, hair. yeah. Uh, and he doesn't end up going back in time, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ethan Embry and this chick are the same. Same person. That's great. Never seen such bad acting by adults as the mom and dad. I couldn't even figure. I, I yeah, settled. The mom and dad. Were really I settled bad. on the dad being the what worst about, actor. What about this? Is it toothpaste? Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, no, why is there? No, it's blue. It's blue icing. But if you eat that, it turns you turns into you into a plant. Yeah. A plant. Yeah. But I I looked at Amy. I was like, why is there toothpaste on on her corn on the cabin? Why does she not see it? And <sighs> the kid's family's so about to eat all this food with that frosting on it. And the ghost grandpa says to the little you boy, have you have to stop, have to stop him. So he jumps on the table and starts and to undo his pants. And he's pissing every there. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then the a... dad comes. <laughs> the next scene is the dad taking the kid to the room and he's like, he lays him on the bed and he pissed starts. Pissed on all our food. He starts unbuckling his belt like he's going to beat yeah. him or something. And he's like, dad, what are you going to do? And he's like, I've got to tighten my belt because we're hungry because you peed on everything. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're all hungry. <laughs> this is him yelling at him. Yeah, that's, that's him. Oh wait. He's that's them yelling at or him yelling at him. It was so amazing. yeah. It's so, so awesome. That dad was really great. Dad impressive. was impressive. And I loved his mullet. The mullet was great. It was it was like awesomely bad. And this is like the most famous scene from yeah. the whole movie. Oh my god! <laughs> that's like a meme, an internet meme. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So does. you've seen that before, huh? Yeah, yeah. But this is—I uh, was terrible. I was terrible. scrolling through. So this is pretty amazing. Um, I would never get that as a tattoo, but that's pretty amazing. Oh no! Why would you get that and, as a tattoo? I don't know, but 
The tattoo <laughs> looks more monster. terrifying than the actual stupid trolls. Oh my god! They had like so four, bad. four shitty ass troll masks. And they, they just kept on and rotating, kept... annoying them. Oh, there's Nilbog. Nilbog. <laughs> The town of Nilbog. I actually heard that <laughs> they. Cause there's been like a ton of these goblin or troll movies. Mm -hmm. Or no, no. It started off as goblin and they eventually changed it to troll. Like there's this whole mess of movies and they've been like recycling the same costumes for oh. however many years. Uh, but I'll have to do a little more research on it. I remember well, uh, there's a left telling me there's a documentary that goes along with this, correct? Mm -hmm. That you, yeah, that's yeah, why I've we, seen it. That's best, why we, found which is it. in my queue. Best, best worst watch. movie, best worst though. movie, yeah. Which I suggest you watch maybe the first thirty minutes, and then it gets really just boring and redundant. But if you can watch Troll Two, which has no connection story wise, like you don't need to have seen anything else to. It's worth watching just to see what really bad acting and bad script work looks like. And bad everything. And honestly... Like, it is a case study in how not to make a movie. It really is. Yeah. And it's like, it's right up there Thomas, with The Room. Thomas, you love it. Yeah. It's like The Room. It's like The Room with, with like... And the director, just like Tommy was so, the director's yeah. convinced that The Room is a little, <laughs> the room's a little more realistic than a movie about I goblins don't and know. trolls. <laughs> It's a, it's a drama about relationships. It's a drama. This about is a drama about uh, family going on a vacation and swapping homes with someone else. Oh God, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's part. the premise. Yeah, that's the, the whole, whole thing. yeah the that's house it. swap. That's it. You need to choose between me or your friends. Oh well, yeah, yeah I remember I she did that. Remember when she's lifting weights? Yeah, dance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's good. Okay, good so stuff. That's what we saw. Yeah. Good stuff, Mark. Did you oh, see? Yeah. Who saw Sherlock Holmes? I saw a, a Game of Shadows or whatever the hell that's called. The oh. second one, right? Yes. Yep. I watched that one over Christmas and uh, about right when it was starting to climax, everybody start like right when I was starting to get like the main thrust of the movie a bunch of people walked in the room and started talking very loudly and it wasn't my house so I couldn't be like hey would you shut the hell up <laughs> so I'm like yeah okay so I'm like I just casually reach over to the remote and click click a little louder <laughs> click click a little louder and nobody really got the hint that I was actually trying to watch that for any purpose but um it was good I liked it um yeah, I thought it was all right. Sure, yeah. I uh, I liked the uh, I liked the whole train thing at the beginning with him mm -hmm. and his little girl get up. I thought that was pretty sweet, but, but um, I I actually really enjoyed it. It was uh, it was hard to follow though when you're you know hearing stuff from the other room and trying to pick mm -hmm. up what's going on. But from what I gathered, it sounded it looked like a solid movie. There was some pretty cool fight. The fight sequences were really cool again with the slow-mo stuff going. I love those those yeah. were so running cool through the, forest was the running through the forest yeah. was so badass that you was know, so good I think I like this Sherlock Holmes better than the first one hmm really yeah. I like the first one I more. think I like the first one more one more time. this one was just this one's good it just yeah I don't it's something about it they just kind of they took what was great about the first one and mm -hmm. just kind of turned it up a couple of notches I, I personally just, thought it was yeah, a lot I quite don't like how they pushed the envelope on some of the goofiness that ensues. Yeah. Um, well, and then all of a sudden Sherlock has a brother, which I love Stephen Fry, but all yeah. of a sudden he's got a brother. He's like, always that was had weird. a brother. Well, did, did he have it in the first one, too? Yeah, Sherlock's always had his brother, who's the... Mycroft. Uh, yeah. Who's, mm. Who in the... I did not the know British, that. The British one, he's the police yeah. captain he's, or whatever. Well, he's, he's even higher up. He's, he's like a guy intelligent. Yeah, some... Yeah. I had no that, idea. I don't know why I didn't only, know that. The only thing that bugged me about Game of Shadows is they didn't really do... A very, I didn't really like Moriarty. I thought they could have did more with him. I feel <coughs> like they could have, too. And I hate that they killed for being him. Like yeah, his, spoiler, but yeah, the, for being his main nemesis. Yeah, they yeah, should have yeah. just now, done it all now, in one to movie. to be fair, they didn't find any bodies. Yes, that's true. I know, but according to the books, that's how Moriarty dies, is by falling off the... Was that the 
falling off the thing into off the, the waterfall. waterfall. Mm -hmm. Which he sur oh, yeah, Sherlock survives and Moriarty doesn't. Right. Interesting. You know and how he Sherlock survives? was totally outdone in that moment, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he was had. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. That scene was cool where yeah. he like figures out I'll do this it's a, it's and he'll do that. Moves. And it's then he goes, moves. Oh, you can do this too? And then yeah. Yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Punch to hey, Mega. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. The the uh, the fight sequences in uh, like in in reference to doing them uh, in chess mm -hmm. chess moves. I thought that was really pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a fun movie though. It's definitely fun. Yeah. Oh, Jared, you saw Prisoners? Yes. What? Fantastic. Did you movie. like it? Fuck. <sighs> tell tell me why. Okay. the The whole movie is <laughs> so good. Um, Paul Dano is the biggest pile of shit ever. <laughs> by the way, uh, don't you love how the yeah. whole time I'm like, it's fucking him. It's Paul, him. It's gotta be him. He took the kids and he killed them. It's him, <laughs> and he just wouldn't talk. And they're beating the oh, shit out of him, the and he just wouldn't give it up. And then the the subtle, I just wanted to play, and you're like. Okay. Jingle bells. Yeah. When he sings, yeah. Oh. like, "Fuck you." You oh. son of a bitch. <laughs> this is the guy that was in uh, Cowboys and Aliens, right? Paul Dana. Yeah, yeah he uh, is actually this, that little weasel son. Yeah, he's, he's there, there will be blood. A, yeah, there will be blood. Yeah. Jeremiah. Twelve years a slave. Is. He's in that too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he was. He yeah. always plays a big pile of shit. <laughs> he does. So, so well. And then, <laughs> and then that yeah. the twist with, with the other kid. Oh, I know. Careful, oh. spoil. I'm you not spoiling anything. See it. Yeah. Just we don't want to so, spoil stuff. So, yeah. were you like me? Did you kind of think this is way better than this type of movie should be? Yes. Like yes. It's or just even that it was marketed yes. as. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I. You weren't here last time, Thomas, but I, I listed it as my favorite movie of the year. Really? Yeah, and I think the reason was more than anything is because I was just really surprised at how good it was. Yeah. I, I'm glad you liked it. It's very, very dark. It's um, dark, sure. The I really love Jake Gyllenhaal. Wasn't he anymore. good? Yeah. He was I've got really a man good crush on that Jake Gyllenhaal. He does good stuff now. You know what? He's done the cop before, like in Zodiac, but this cop was End totally different. End of Watch. Yeah. End of Watch. Yeah. And did you notice his, like... He's got like the uh, what All I was doing tattoos. Is, well, and then whenever, and whenever twitches. he's throughout the whole thing, yeah, his twitches, his eyes, he's always, yeah. always double yeah. blinks a lot, and you're like, okay, so he's had to have thought up like random little things yeah. for yeah. that person yeah. to do. Yeah, that's and it's that's really fucking good acting. I agree. Really <laughs> that's good. Like uh, like Lars and the Real Girl. Yeah. 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 And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the ending. I love the ending of this movie. Everyone in the oh audience, God. when the ending happened, about half the audience went, <gasps> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the ending so pisses you off. <laughs> uh -huh. You're just like, Anything else? Come on! <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. We just give you, but that's this movie. It gives you just enough. Just enough. Yeah. 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 Paul so, Pino. so good. Couldn't recommend this movie anymore to See, So look at him as a cop. Like, Jill and Hulk, all like, those all tattoos. His slick and hair. Stuff. He's uh -huh. all really? greasy and hanging down. Yeah, and he's got it was just a weird. Tattoos. Yeah. So, choice is cool. So, was the, the priest his actual father? Wait, who, like the what? the father the I, well, it's kind of a spoiler thing but the father father oh um was that his actual like dad because the, the way he was like talking to him was like I you sent me to a whatever home or whatever it was I don't think so no you know it's the guy no who's I think I know who you're talking about no that's not his actual yeah. father it's just a priest yeah. it's just a priest okay yeah All right but yeah. Great movie. Cool movie. So good. good. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, Hugh Jackman, amazing. Yeah. That is, there is nothing more uh, American than that man right there, too. No, you're right. Yeah. He did that, that, that Idahoan to me. Yeah, yeah. He, very, very yeah. Idahoan. Just a very down to earth, dude. middle country yeah. American right. with those values. And what's interesting about it, too, is 
kind of looks like a middle American. Right yeah, there. his yeah. his belief in you know I can take care of myself and I can take care of my mm-hmm. family and I'll do things. And you realize there are some times when you hit a wall. You know, like he yeah. tries to do certain things and he just can't do them. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm glad you liked that yeah. one. Great. Speaking of movies you loved, how was Elysium? I didn't like Elysium. <laughs> I it, it wasn't. It was. It was. It was shot great, but I don't. I don't know. I just didn't. I couldn't get into it. Oh. Um. I I just think Matt Damon was a bad choice for that. That could be. That's interesting. It just I, to me, it all. I almost wanted the dude who plays um, the the badass mercenary guy, the right. one that gets his face uh, shot up, <laughs> the main guy from the other movie, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought he would have been better personally. What do you as think of that. him? He was a cool. As that the that mercenary was, was awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's really cool. He's, he he does the psychopath all really good. Up. And I so didn't even scary. recognize that it was yeah, him until I know. like halfway through the movie. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> What's well, cool? Good to know that because we all know how good of an actor he is. Hopefully mm-hmm. the more FaceTime we see him in movies. Because I'd like to see him in a lot more movies. He, I would yeah. too. He's, he's yeah. like the... He, uh, I can't remember that uh, French actor's name who is in uh, Inglorious Bastards and... Um... Christoph Waltz? No. Yes. Yeah, he's German. Christoph oh, is he German? Yes. Okay. He speaks he's about really six good. languages, yeah. too. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. As far as getting that like level of actors yeah. Yeah. more often in American film, we do. It, it, it's nice. I think he's really cool in this movie. Yeah. No, no, you know what? Uh, Where did this guy come from? He's do we know from District Nine? He's the main guy. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, then, do uh, we know before that? Like, no, where that he was come his from? first. That film. was like yeah. his first. Yeah, Blomkamp just found him and then and hey, said, hey, "Hey, what's up?" <laughs> Dude, yeah. yeah, be in my he movie. We're all like, "Oh my he's god, only been you're in so like good." Five or six. He's in Europa Report for a few minutes. Yes. Hmm. And he's good. That's true. I thought this thing on his face was pretty badass. Yeah, yeah. but let's just look how fucking rugged he and, looks there. He looks uh, like he's And been those are all shit. the the like slots for that armor that yeah. Matt Damon has to get drilled into his <laughs> body. Oh my god. Those yes. are all like the attachments where it just can be put. What did you think about the which I thought was more overt in this film, but the political commentary about class difference? Yeah. What did you think yeah. about that? Because it was pretty heavy handed. Very, very heavy handed. To be honest, I was like really pissed off at the yeah. whole concept where it's just like, oh, well, you guys are just kind of fucked. Yeah. We're clean and you're not. And then, uh, what's his face from wrong? With the scar. It wasn't until I lost my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. William <laughs> Pitt. The biggest asshole. Like, yeah. I've never hated him oh, more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then just when he's in there, he's like, don't, don't breathe on me. Like, <laughs> get a, you. Yeah. But I, I think, see, for me, that was a problem for me because I felt like they made him and they made Jodie Foster almost too evil. Yeah, they were evil. very, Like, very, they had no empathy at all. It was like Cruella all. DeVille yeah. kind of evil. Yeah, yeah. And I like, wish they'd been a little more because in real life, rich people can be assholes, but when, not like when that. they're face to face with someone in danger or mm-hmm. pain. Then even rich people can be nice, yeah. you know. But when these they guys still are face think to face, the good guy. yeah. I mean, well, those people don't think they're the good guy; they know they're the bad guy, and that's not what you yeah. want to see in a villain. And well, like the whole thing, the whole concept of it, it's like it's that's the technology that you have there is. Something very, very simple, apparently, for that time. Mm-hmm. You can't just have one down there. It, It's like, no, you can't have that. Right. Not even to, to make it so they live forever, but, you know, to help cure whatever it is. Just so they can be better yeah. workers. Yeah. Just so you, yeah. like, if you could pay to use it. Right. Even for that. But it's just like, nah, you just don't get it. Right. At all. You, you never right. get to use this. And yeah. so, because of that, I do think the script's a little too black and white. And I think, ultimately, this movie's not as memorable as District 9. Not as yeah. powerful. No. But it, the violence is fucking yeah. awesome, right? Yeah. 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 yeah um, definitely. But I just, yeah, I just didn't 
feel it. Okay. I, I didn't really Fair enough. get into the whole thing very well. I, I, after I watched it, I was just like, man, it was a movie. <laughs> what about you, Thomas? You saw The Hobbit? Uh, yeah, I saw The Hobbit. Um, and I'm sure you guys talked about all the good things about it. Although it was the first token movie where I feel like they they had a few scenes in there that weren't necessarily needed. Um, yes. I, and they, it wasn't it wasn't like giving you any background story. It was more like they're just making certain scenes longer, but not a whole lot was going on. Um, like the hopping on the heads. The hopping on the heads. Oh. <laughs> Uh, the See, you scene. like it though, right? You're no, gonna no, say no, you like that. No, I, like I laughed my balls ah, off at the that. barrel uh, scene. Was fun. I, I didn't. It, it extended action, the chase. The action scene <laughs> was whatever. It was fun. I I had fun. Uh, but more along the lines where, for example. How many times do you see the scene of the uh, orcs climbing on the roofs? Yes, we yeah. get it. They're right. on the okay. roof. Or, yes, we get it. Gandalf searching this place, this empty, scary place. Yeah. And he, they do it for what seems like a long time, especially with how long the movie is to begin with. I, it seems like that. I feel they could have shortened a bit. Like... I, I get they're trying to understand or make you understand, but I'm, I was kind of over it as far as I'm excited he's back. Uh, the the dragon though, boy, I was not disappointed that he, they did such an excellent Smog job. Is Smog is badass. Smog. Yeah, and I have to say, <laughs> I I you know frankly, it's called The Hobbit, and I think they got a great actor to play Bilbo Baggins. Mm -hmm. And when he's actually front and center in the movie, I love it. No, he. You know? it's actually very nice for a change. What they did right here is what they did wrong with the uh, first Lord of the Rings, in my opinion. People generally, most of the people I spoke to, want to kind of skip Frodo, Sam, and uh, yes. Gollum. Because it was a lot of the same thing. They weren't as entertaining as the other characters. Whereas this, like you're saying, Bilbo's the most entertaining yeah. character. Like, he's up there with Gandalf. You, you almost sometimes want to, want to watch him rather than Gandalf. And, uh, I mean, that's... A For me, he was. I really change. enjoy watching old Bilbo do his thing. And like you say, talking with the dragon. Yeah. Now, I will say, once the dragon starts chasing after the dwarves... For me, that, that sequence went on a little too long, and it was a lot of the, the silly riding up and down on chains. Scooby Doo, and, Scooby -Doo and, and just grinding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it, what it ends up doing for me is it kind of undermined how deadly and powerful the dragon is, right? If, if they can just lead him on a merry chase for thirty minutes, and yeah. You know, because he's so scary when he's first talking to uh, Bilbo. And and the, the way Bilbo's kneeling in the falling coins, just almost like biting his yeah. hand as Smog is rising up, you almost just feel that fear where you're like, I can't even run. Right, I'm so right. afraid right now. Um, but I can poop. I pooped. I, I, I have <laughs> oh, soil. No, it, no it was, <laughs> I, and to be honest, yeah, I have the whole movie that was the one thing I was concerned about was Smog. I hope mm -hmm. they did him justice. And for the most part, the scene was a little long with the chase, but they did him justice when he was talking to Bilbo yes. and uh, kind of being full of himself. And I, I, I'm going to argue they probably felt like they had to make it so long because it's the final, like, battle of the movie and you don't want everyone to come out and go how come the biggest action sequence was the barrels yeah, yeah. and then there's another hour you yeah. know yeah you yeah. always want to end on a high note so i understand it, why they did yeah it, and not only that if they went exactly like the book to be honest the smog scene wouldn't be very yeah. long at all no you're right uh, well in the book the barrels they just yeah they, they ride the barrels yeah, just yeah. right away <laughs> 
That's the end. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, end. That's true. Yeah. Very true. But you don't like the one barrel taking out like 13 orcs? I know, that was hilarious. hilarious. We were all laughing. It was yeah. hilarious. Uh, I, yeah. I, like, I said I like the fat guy. The fat dwarf running past all the rest of them. <laughs> I, I, I did. Uh, full sprint. <laughs> it's, it's old, but I finally got around to watching Red 2 as well. Oh, nice. And uh, it's... It was fun. That's the most I can say about it. That's it's fun. definitely not as good at storytelling as in the first one. It wasn't as clever as the first one. Yeah, but I it, agreed. But it was it was all right. This cute. It was a little, yeah. Yeah. It's a little predictable. <sighs> a lot of action. But I I, I who is the I like this assassin? dude. Yeah, this yeah. dude is yeah. badass. Wasn't that the dude who played Storm X? Shadow? Yeah. Or he played yeah X he's in the Storm Wolverine Shadow. movie right yeah, he may have, he may have been but he was definitely Storm Shadow in uh, GI Joe's That's I right. yeah I I, I he's like done him, a actually. few yeah he's not bad I loved this scene this scene was great when he's got the dynamite but they pocket. really speaking of that scene they really underplayed the bad guy chasing him I would I wouldn't have mind seeing him a little bit more yeah yeah you, you only see him in a, a few different scenes actually. Uh, I, the only thing I really recognize him from is the OZ, for, uh, that mini series about the Wizard of Oz. Mm-hmm. Tin, or no, Tin Man. Sorry, mm-hmm. that's the name of it, Tin mm-hmm. Man. But yeah, no, it was, it was. I can't. There's not really much I can say about it just because it, you know. Well, I think was is it Mary Louise Parker? Uh huh. She was really good. I was surprised at Her how girlfriend. much. Her. Yeah, yeah, she was funny. She was they gave very, her a much bigger role yeah, than last time, quirky. and she held it. Yeah, I thought she, yeah, was very, I thought she did good. Very did a good job as the adorable girlfriend for sure. <laughs> Mind of her own, which yeah. is nice. Like that face is nice. <laughs> yeah. What about movie news? Um, you got for us? Yes, I do actually. Uh, <clears throat> the Rock. Says he will play a DC character in 2014. It is for sure. What does 14? that mean? That's and too soon. There's no way. That's just what they what they said. <coughs> he okay. will be a DC character. Martian. Oh, <laughs> Martian <laughs> Manhunter. John Stewart. I thought you said that he was gonna play a decent character <laughs> no, in no. 2014, and I'm like, who makes a press release like that? That doesn't no. make any he, sense he at all. He'll be an okay character. Yeah. I am not done character not, for once. He's not I'm doing that babysitter movie. Exactly. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck that no, was? No tooth fairy. Tooth fairy. So no, he shoot. he says he will play a DC, DC. comic it's hard to... character. Do you think he's gonna be John Stewart, huh. the new Green Lantern? Ooh, no. He's too big for He's the right, is. right shade, though. <sighs> Martian Man, maybe. That's what I was thinking. You're going to paint him oh, green? Man. But that's the problem as far as DC or comics in general. Whenever they say DC or Marvel, it could be one of those off brand comics, uh, you know, the um, more private, or not private, but um, a, little more, indie. a little more indie. Yes, indie comics. Uh, I, I, you know, the only part I could honestly see him being is Marshall Manor, though, really. Ooh, Amazo. Amazo. Brainiac. <laughs> he might, it, the only way he could be out in 2014 is, is Batman and Superman coming out in yes. 14? He's going to no, have to be in that. I it? thought that was next year. Is it 15? Is it 15? They're not going to make a movie before that one. That's the next DC movie. Yeah. So, I don't know how else he could do it. Yeah. Dwayne huh. Johnson, you sound like you might be a liar. <laughs> That's going to be a cartoon. Said. It'll be a That's cartoon what for said. release. Maybe I don't know. maybe he'll Which, be in uh, Arrow are better than the actual DC movie. <gasps> yeah. Or The Flash. On yeah, TV. yeah. The Arrow. Uh, Arrow. Series. Or he's already. F- f- they've already got Barry Allen. Yeah, no, but he'll 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 be like in the show. Maybe. He'll play. Which uh, have you been watching? Arrow so good. So yeah. good. <laughs> Arrow so good. makes Agents of Shield, which probably has the ten times the budget, look like shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Arrow, so much better. It's, it's so, so good. good. Um, then back more superhero movie uh stuff. Uh, Batman and <laughs> Superman. It looks like they're looking at Joaquin Phoenix 
to play Lex Luthor. Ooh, I like. I, he's a good actor. Why not? He doesn't he's, look he's like an Lex excellent. in the comics, but why not? He's they can very, make people look different. Yeah. Well, I like a young version of Lex, personally. Hmm. Not that young. Joaquin Phoenix is like... He's got to be 45. Well, well, excuse me. Excuse me. I mean, a not Plus, he's sinister. 60s. He's got a hair lip. I knew what you meant. He does have the sinister hair lip. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? What? The sinister hair lip. Um, and then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then also to add to that, Jason Momoa has, has also been added to uh, Game, the Game of Thrones, Superman. right? Game of Thrones, and then was the Conan and the new Conan remake. Yeah. What's he been added to? Uh, to the new Superman and Batman yeah. movie. Really? I liked him in As Game the, of Thrones. No one knows who he's going Since to. Since we're on the subject, um, uh, did you guys talk about the Wonder Woman pick? No, a little bit. Briefly. Yeah. Briefly. Briefly. I've been hearing a lot of rage Ooh. on uh, as or like as far as the fans go and yeah. as well as women go as far as how um these What's the movie name? industry is afraid to use a uh stronger woman or larger woman uh with, you know, muscle tone a beefcake and woman. yeah. Yes, and that they got yet another runway model to yeah. play what right. would normally be an Amazon, you know, yeah. uh, supposed to be a large, strong woman. Someone, yeah. Instead of getting they said that six, this was six. the perfect chance to, <laughs> Wonder Woman would have been the perfect chance yeah. to break that mold, but they, you know, got missed. Would Israel, have been awesome Israel. if they would have picked What's Her Face from Riddick. Yeah, I think she would have been Katie great. Sackhoff. Yes, she probably would have been great, but I don't know. They they've got their fi- they yeah, that's it. stupid. I mean, you got Batman is now Ben Affleck, so I personally I would rather see a less known person. Like I just go find a bunch of unknowns that are good actors. Yeah. And yeah. look just the part. Yeah, that's what I would do, but I'm not in charge. Yeah. <laughs> have, have, have there been besides um, uh, Avengers girl who's not really a superhero? Uh, has there been a, a successful female superhero movie of any kind? Because mm. I can't what, honestly what think of one. What female superheroes are there? There's Wonder Woman, Cat. Catwoman. Cat Catwoman's kind of an anti-hero. Oh, 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 oh. That's an anti-hero, Man. though. You can't even count that as a superhero. Um, Please go watch Catwoman, the scene where she the plays basketball. basketball. Scene. Oh. Yeah. You can find it on YouTube. Just type in Catwoman, Catwoman playing basketball. basketball. It's so it's amazing. It's good. We should watch it. So amazing. We should watch it. Um, <laughs> while we're looking that up, uh, Vin Diesel has been confirmed as the voice of Groot. Yes, I was so wrong. I guess. I guess. It wasn't a bad. Groot. It wasn't a bad prediction. It just why? It's funny because like on the, when you're looking through the news, it's like the saddest like secret ever kept. It's <laughs> gonna be Vin Diesel. There's no reason to. Yeah, but the, the, why did they hold that back for so long? Yes, and then they got the Guardians of the Galaxy photo that's been released. Which Have you guys seen it? Yes, seen. it looks it's good. so good to see Chris Pratt oh. there. He's cool. Yes. Rocket Raccoon looks. So awesome. That's it. It's on the yeah. court. Yeah, it's like That's a minute. It. This first one? Yeah. yeah. The first one will work. Let's see. Are you going to watch it? it? Yes, this is it with Sally? Benjamin Bratz. Well, that's what she says about me. She says that I'm I've never actually seen Catwoman. Fun, fun deficient. Well, I haven't either, oh, but this is great. what she says. One on one? Who? Lou Diamond Phillips? Yeah, come on. It's Brat. Benjamin Bratz. You want to do this? Why is she playing like Frozen? Oh, Frozen. Frozen. Yeah. Do you want to do this? Uh oh. She's like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Let's see if she's God. ever on. <laughs> this song plays, I swear, with all of these. Yeah. <laughs> this is a woman who's never held a basketball before. Yeah. Did you see that pass? Oh, 
this camera works so good. This is shot like a kid's movie, like a Nickelodeon film. He doesn't know how to dribble a ball. No. That's why you never see her face. Do hear that giggle? <laughs> so good. Can we have our ball back? <laughs> you don't seem so fun to fishing to me. Yeah. Oh my god. That is awful. Wow. Yeah. That is You're great. welcome. Isn't that, that great? movie look amazing? Yeah. <laughs> I want to go watch the whole thing now. That yeah. is terrible. No. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Oh, I'm adding that to my cue now. That was. Why? Uh, why do you do that? <laughs> I. <laughs> I. I even. Sad. I even type with this stutter. That's great. <laughs> That was shot like a, like a Nickelodeon like oh, it's kid film. Yeah, that was bad. Clearly, the director yeah. was like, "Oh shit!" Oh, this will pass. Holly she Perry can't... doesn't know how to even dribble. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna have to just yeah. fucking do camera tricks all around her to hide the yeah. fact that she can't even hold the ball in a graceful way. That makes me sick. Um, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. <laughs> then plus, uh, there is a. Johnny Quest movie, I guess. They're really? saying it's not dead yet. Like, wow. It's been talked about and they've been trying to do it, but it, I guess it's still... That could be fun. They're still trying to get something going with that. Huh, I hadn't Which heard really that. interests me, because I love Johnny Quest. Well, mm -hmm. I love Venture um, Brothers. And then uh, <laughs> Josh Gad is uh, going to be doing the Gilligan's Island reboot. Oh, I heard about that. Is he gonna play? Skipper? Most likely Skipper. <laughs> Come on. No, he Gilligan, looks like Skipper. Really, but he, he wants to play Gilligan. You know he, he does. To. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Why are we doing this? Why? Why oh, because... Gilligan's Island reboot? Why can't we just make new shit? No one's gonna run out to God watch a Gilligan's it. Island reboot. Think about it. Why is it a is it a reboot like TV show or a movie? A movie. Like a movie. They're making a movie. I wonder if they get off the island and then... Maybe. But I bet there's a chance for them to leave the island, but then they have second thoughts and Gilligan. they... No, it would be awesome as if they're on the, the <laughs> island and then, and then, then the last it's ten... The last... <laughs> no, the last... The last ten minutes, you find out they're on Jurassic Park Island and Ooh. Velociraptors <laughs> eat them all. And it's just <laughs> over. I was thinking Game more of those green dancers on the beach oh um, yeah the little two. baby i thought a smoke just... monster might i was like up. i was doing laws <laughs> or the dilophosaurus just <laughs> and yeah. spits into all their faces i heard that uh for the <laughs> new jurassic park the new x-men with movie, willem dafoe that's right i heard for the new x-men movie uh the days of future past that they're already they've cut out rogue yes completely from the show they got rid of Anna she's Pipe been with. edited out how come yeah. nothing wrong with that time and pacing good they just felt like she didn't good she's just not good at they anything. said get out of here you and that gap in your teeth bye bye <laughs> teeth <laughs> Oh, and that's my movie news. That's movie news. So it's homework time. Yes. Okay, so guys, I asked you to watch Four Lions, a British show about terrorists. Now, uh, before we... Did you watch it, Thomas? Mm -hmm. um, I will admit that in the maybe the first 10 to 20 minutes, just figuring out their fucking accents was really <laughs> difficult. They're speaking English. Good luck. That's what I'll say. Anyway, so what did you guys think? <laughs> Nathan, what did you think of this movie? <laughs> I hated the first 10 minutes of it, 15, maybe 20 minutes of it, while I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. And as soon as I figured out what the what was going on, I really enjoyed the shit out of it. I loved 
I loved it. I loved this guy. This guy cracked me up. He's always making everybody eat their SIM cards and shit. <laughs> I loved this guy. And uh, the idiot one, I thought he was really great, too. Um, I thought it was really, really clever. Um, it's just... It's... it's uh, Nothing like what you're expecting, and it tackles something that's actually a pretty big deal in a really, really clever way, I thought. Um, totally agree. It's so yeah. it's so good. I had the first 10, 15 minute problem as well, and it's not just the accent, but they start into the film in their lives, like right in the middle of it. And so yeah. you have to figure out what's going on, why are they making these movies, what's up with their friendship, why are they doing all these weird things, and then you figure out that they're kind of just a bunch of bumbling idiots. I love this scene so And it's fantastic. So much. And there's a big arrow yeah. right there, which I never <laughs> noticed. Oh, before. I saw it. It's right before he fires, and you see it, and it goes this way, and you're like, shit. Did you make it this that This is part? funny. I watched, this is a funny movie. I went through the whole movie, and I did not like it at all. It's freaking hilarious. I was bored. To, oh, dear. To be honest, I think, for example, the scene with him firing the, firing the rocket, their explosives, the funny walks. <laughs> the squat uh, jog. Yeah. The squat jog. <laughs> like, to me, this is a great that scene. That just looks like things that were on the commercial, and those were the highlights, because the rest of it, maybe it's just because I've seen it far too often in, in British films anymore, but it's the one smart guy or decently smart guy surrounded by idiots and then they're like what are you thinking <laughs> like it, and then they're just like <laughs> they're like uh, unbelievably stupid like it, to me it's not even creative in the way that they're not smart it, but you it was almost like a cartoon i don't know it, well it was like a cartoon I think so. There's like I said, there's highlights, the the bird, the actually a lot of the stuff with the explosives. Oh yeah, all the stuff with the explosives is great. It, this beginning is so fucking funny. The fake small AK. <laughs> big hands. If I get closer to the camera, I've just it'll got be big. Bigger. <laughs> I love that scene. I thought that scene was so When he good. goes and looks through the camera to see how he yeah. looks. There's nothing there. What are you <laughs> talking about? Yeah. You're just like, oh, God. Yeah. This guy's going to ruin Let's everybody. Let's frog him. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, yeah, just frog him. Just frog him. It, it could have been my mood, but I'm... I'm, I'm I love I this costume. This costume kind of great. tired of the... the dumb British guys as far as... Uh, their antics I felt, uh, just didn't do anything for me. I felt like it worked because I couldn't imagine the story using any other way of telling the story. So you've got these four or five at one point guys. <laughs> wannabe terrorists. Yeah, wannabe terrorists that are trying their hardest, but they don't know how to do it. And they're kind of just bumbling through it. But at the same time, it's serious. This is a dark comedy. Uh, this of, isn't a comedy. This this goes places that you're not expecting, and it actually, in my case, was really sad. I there really, some moments. I of, really liked this guy. I thought he was cool. That's the lead guy. Yeah, he's yeah. cool. The, it bothered me that he's doing the whole jihad, like, traditional terrorist thing because, yeah. you know, they, they have a certain belief, but he lets his wife and family get away with not being traditional mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't that didn't really make sense to me his brother who wasn't a uh, terrorist and benedict or benedict cumberbatch is yeah. That. yeah yeah uh, no uh <laughs> no but his brother who wasn't a terrorist was more traditional as far as keeping uh the women in the little closet area <laughs> in the mean, cupboard yeah the that cupboard. Uh, that conversation was really genius I can't come genius, into your actually, living room yeah. cuz your wife is here yeah. she's like I'm in a different room it's still the same room yeah. <laughs> can't talk to you you've removed this so wall so it's still the same room I'm out of control husband no. control no. me <laughs> And not only that, but they they didn't go into all that much detail in regards to why they are so they want to do this because they're obviously not born into it, right? Yeah. So well, I just okay. I so know. I'm gonna argue that I loved this scene too. The scene cracked me up so mm -hmm. much. 
We covered his beard. Why? why I got the, what did oh they, the my what God. Did they, what did they think at no the end? That, that was just a woman with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> and all his voices funny. sounded oh. exactly yes. the same. Um, I don't know. I think it's funny to see a Ninja Turtle running around <laughs> with explosive uh, strap. Yeah, yeah, well, and this, this little orange guy was so great. I shot the bear. I sh- yeah, no, I shot you the shot, bear. A bear. shot a Wookiee. I'm you pretty shot sure a Wookie is Wookie a bear. Is a bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I think this is one of those instances where the, the, the whole idea of terrorism, uh, first of all, from a Western point of view, we don't get it at all. Blowing yourself up makes yeah. no sense, right? But, but when you believe in the religion, and the religion tells you, that if you die a martyr for your cause, you will go to heaven, and that's a great thing. And you believe that? Because people believe in heaven. This mm-hmm. isn't like, well, who believes in heaven? No, <laughs> you know? But, I mean, it's hard maybe for a Westerner to believe that Islamic people full-on believe in their religion as much as Westerners believe in Christianity, right? Mm-hmm. But I think this movie kind of helps us to see that you can do some really stupid stuff if you believe. You know, that's all it is. is just believing in something and thinking it's the right thing to do. Even though everything around you says otherwise. All the evidence around you says this is stupid. But your faith tells you that you got to do this. And I, I think that on that level, they really wanted to prove that they were the faithful. You know, that they believed and they... It was hard for him to question. And Thomas raises a good point. Why does the main guy believe so fervently in his, you know, this martyrdom stuff, but he allows his wife to be less traditional? It's a good question. Uh, I suspect it's because these guys are really just British people. They're just Brits, you know? And you see that because everyone they interact with, the main guy goes to work, and the guy's just like, at the end, he's like, he's a, he's a great guy. He's a normal guy. There's nothing wrong with him. And so everyone just sees all of those characters as just people and not as um, extremists or as, like, terrorists or anything. They're just Brits. Mm-hmm. Everyone's yeah. just a... They're just people. And so you do see that, and I think they're so integrated into their their culture that they're in that it's difficult for them to yeah do it, something else it's a little it, and it was a little confusing because his wife seems to have be smart she's, like yeah. quite smart but yeah, yeah. And then, but she's just like okay do your terrorist thing honey yeah and you so, go yeah. yeah yeah she's very accepting yeah. Of it. yeah and then he pretty much tells her straight up you know so long this is it yeah. and then she's just like going to the well top i do i do think that uh I I have to think that the only way you can make a movie about terrorism and from the terrorist point of view is if you make a comedy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Otherwise otherwise I don't know, how do you make sympathetic terrorists? Yeah. You just can't like yeah. you can't make us care at all about terrorists unless yeah. you make them just idiots. I, I think the around. I think the concept is genius, but I like I said, it was just the humor. Uh, I don't know. It was just. It's just me. I think and you probably need people. to watch it again, Thomas. The main character. <laughs> Jared doesn't. But yeah. Thomas does. Jared's just not gonna like it. Yeah. I think. I think Thomas so could funny. come around. So and the the main character dude looks a lot like one of my friends that I met when I went down to Sundance. His name's Cena, and I I think they look like doppelgangers almost. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. The whole time I'm watching, I'm like, "Oh my god, that's my friend Zena! It's so crazy." That's just racist, because what? Because they're yeah. dark skin. Yeah. No, it's because they have the same oh, smile. They, 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 all look, they all look the same. They have yeah. the same fucking smile. You same dick. I colored eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> same uh, nose, even almost. Um, I just don't see it. Same I, skin color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> so much. It's okay, Nathan. <laughs> I see it. 
<laughs> You're okay. Thanks, Kimberly. That raven, dude, was that a real raven or crow? I think it was a real crow, that was yeah. cute. That was very and they amazing. said at the end, before the credits, but it was after the final thing, that there was one sheep that was killed in the making of this film. Oh, no. And then at the very bottom, it's like, nothing was harmed. Because it has, like, the tag at the end with yeah. Like the it's a joke society. that says only one joke. sheep was harmed. Only in the one <laughs> sheep was harmed in the making of this, <laughs> and then it goes to the credits, and then at the bottom was like nobody you died. Like, you like nobody when he's being died. spied on, the bird blows up. You you see him run over, and he's on his knees, and it looks so like he's sad. crying. Yeah. It's so sad. I know. I actually I thought it was uh, interesting commentary, not just on the terrorists, but also on like <clears throat> the West politics. For example, uh, the newscast during the credits where they're like, we shot the right man, and then the innocent bystander blew everyone up. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> like, they could they not admit, they could not admit that they may have shot an Just like guy. the snipers. Yeah, Those were snipers like, were so He finally funny. says, no, I shot... Uh, I shot the right person because I shot the bear. So that had to be our, our right yeah. target. He must he be the bear because why shot. else would I have shot yeah. him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? God, like, that'd be stressful, though. That poor jogger in a Wookiee suit just gets <laughs> killed <laughs> for no reason. Getting annihilated. <laughs> I've shot the bear, it's down. Uh, I think you shot a Wookiee. <laughs> Benedict Some really kid. He was so incompetent. Yeah, There's, yeah, yeah, you yeah. A bu you're an ass man. You're an ass, an ass, man. ass man. You're an ass, an ass, man. ass man. An ass man. <laughs> what are you saying? Is this your first day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even the even the bumbling idiot is like, uh, is should you be saying this to me? This? You're not very is good at just this. Go with me. Yeah. So I so, say thumbs up. I, I say I thumbs up, yeah. but apparently, so we got a, a three-two split. I love it. I love it. Three-one-one. But I'm gonna say <laughs> that Thomas would like this if he gave it another chance, and Jared would like it if he understood uh, English. <laughs> no, I understood it. I just <laughs> didn't no, like no, the movie. No, it was no, boring. No, no. It's funny I for everyone. No, no I'm this, kidding. this I'm is kidding. what you understood. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, where's the fucking subtitles on and this movie? They, I yeah. swear, <laughs> they, they switched between Eastern and British they did. accent. Yeah. They like, would, you're like, yeah, they, they would start speaking Aramaic every yeah, just in the middle of the. Uh, which, yeah, I really liked that. I thought that was yeah. pretty cool. I think squat jogs were funny. Squat, squat jogs were so funny. <laughs> what a bad time for your car to break down. <laughs> You got all your bomb making and the stuff. Dude, in yeah, your the dude threw that. I literally was like, ah, when he threw that. <laughs> oh, bag. Everybody oh was. my god! Ah. Everybody was. All right. Well, that was. Thanks for putting up with my movie. Uh, no, it's a turn? treat. Nathan, is it my turn? It's your turn. Um, I didn't see it. I I don't know if it's going to be any good. I just saw that it was a Jason Statham movie and it said, <laughs> "Let's watch it." Um, we have we've never gone wrong before. That's right. <laughs> uh, so this is uh this is his latest <laughs> from uh, 2013 called Redemption. He's a PTSD uh, suffering um, war dude, he, and he's going through some shit. So let's let's watch it and see how bad it turns out to be. All right. All right. That's our homework for next week. Uh, thank you guys for listening to this podcast. Uh, uh, tune in next week, as always. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't new forget, year. Don't. It, it is a new year. Yeah. New Happy New Year. Our first show of the year. Yeah. Um, don't forget to leave us comments whether, whether or not you like the show or not. <laughs> you probably won't because there's like two of you. <laughs> we, lo we love the two of you. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they they can watch the show yeah. on other forms of that's true. right. That's true. Uh, can be media. found elsewhere. Yeah. So leave us comments on whether or not you like the show or not. Uh, leave us movies that you'd like us to watch, and we'll review them. Adam, we'll get to Oscar. Oh yeah, Oscar. Sometime this year. I don't know if we'll do that this year. Sometime. <laughs> Have to just we'll skip get, it and we'll get, get to Oscar. Yeah. Sorry. Um, Sorry. We don't almost watched uh, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. Did we? Because we thought it was Oscar. Oh, shut <laughs> up. No, we didn't. 
<laughs> Kim stopped me at the last minute. Don't forget to call us and let us know on how you feel about the sh- the show. Yeah. One eight 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 three one seven two six nine four, and it's Wednesdays. Wednesdays now. Yeah. Not Thursdays. We need anymore. to switch it to Wednesdays. I will fix that in post. We switch it. No, you won't. Uh, we'll switch this nope. to Wednesdays at seven thirty. Two ten. Mm-hmm. Call us anytime. Mm-hmm. Leave us a message. Leave us a message. Hey, you might even be on air. We might. We might put you on. We might. We'll see what happens. Probably not. Probably not. We love you all. <laughs> Thank you all for listening. And as always, have a wonderful movie night.